Hey ladies, it's Anita with Better Love Movement. So I just wanted to jump in here really quickly. And uh, this is a PSA for all of the ladies who continue to email me or DM me. And this is, this is your PSA, okay? Please, please, ladies, if you've been following me for any length of time, Please, 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 no more questions about how to get a man to be more masculine, how to make a man more masculine, how to make a man step up, show up, show interest, right? How to get a man to do X, Y, and Z. Um, yeah, <laughs> you know, or uh, what to do about these modern day men and these modern day feminine men. You know, how do I you know, how do I get them to be better or different or blah, 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 right? The bottom line is this. It's about you. It's about your feminine journey that you're on. It's about you building your feminine energy, you falling back into that, you rediscovering that, reigniting that, you embracing that. It's really about you. And it is never going to be out going to be in. And so one of the things that you will discover by embracing that feminine energy is that there's a whole lot of things you're just not going to do. They're, you're not going to deal with. You're not going to, you're just not. Like it's rooted in self-love and self-respect, right? Feminine energy, feminine power is rooted. It's an inner strength and it's rooted in self-love and self-respect. And so once you master that, once you master everything in, everything out will be different. What you accept will be totally different. You will no longer accept any kind of man. And you won't even be frustrated by these men, right? You won't see these men. I don't see the men that are not doing their part. I don't see the men that are not stepping up you know, planning dates, paying for those dates, you know, I don't see those men, those men don't exist. And so that tells me something when you're sending me emails, and you're jumping in my DM, and you're out here dating, and you're like, hey, there's this guy I like, but he won't ask me out, and he won't plan a date, and he won't call me, he won't text me. <laughs> like, you're done. You're done. I, but but again, I know it's something going on inside of you. You're done with that. You're done with him. That won't, you won't even find men like that attractive. Men like that are completely unattractive. But you've got to do the inner work. There's so many women out there that just will not do the inner work. They want some sort of quick, fast, you know, oh, Anita's going to give me a quick tip on how to make a man more masculine, how to get a man to step up. No, there isn't any. I work on myself. I become the feminine goddess I was born to be. And the men who appreciate that, appreciate that. And the men who don't or won't or can't or want to compete with that, they don't exist. So that's it. That's the quick PSA. Ladies, you must do the inner work. You're so worried about how can I get, you know, men to do X, Y, and Z? How can, you know, and and what about these modern day men? I get, oh my God, if I had a, a dollar for every message or email I have gotten from a woman between the ages of 20 and 35. Oh, but Miss Anita, you're older. You don't know about these modern day men. You don't know how, what these men, I don't care. I don't care. And if you were feminine, you wouldn't care. You would not care about these modern day feminine energy men. That, those men, you wouldn't even see those men. Those men wouldn't even be in your peripheral because you're just like, so, you know, I don't deal with those type of men. And yet, here's what I find so interesting. I have other clients who are between 20 and 35 and they are dating great guys. They are dating men who are showing up. They are dating men who are at, calling them, texting them, asking them out on dates, paying for those dates doing things to take care of them. They are chivalrous. And guess what? A lot of those men are between the ages of 20 and 35 or 20 and 40. So please don't sell me this mess about, 
you know, no, you don't know what it's like. These men, no, th those are the men you are, <laughs> you know, those are the men you're dealing with. Those are the men you're encountering. Can we be honest? And again, you've got to do the work. You've got to do that inner work. And I'm going to be frank. Okay, let me be frank and say this. I'm not saying that there are thousands of men out there that are masculine and healthy and, and just waiting to take you out. No, it's not in the thousands. It may not even be in the hundreds. You've known from some of the things that I've talked about, I've had dry spells. I've had months and months where no man was stepping up. No man was doing what he needed to do. But guess what? I have created a life that I love. So that's what's happening in the interim. I'm just living the life that I absolutely love. I'm just on my purpose. I'm just doing things that I know I should be doing. Like that's what's happening. But those those spells don't normally last long. Like they don't they don't last years. They last months, right? And then if you are building a fantastic life, if you are happy, you know, and healthy and doing what you need to do with your life, if you're working out, if you have friendships, you know, I mean, okay, so so, but what I'm not going to do at that time is entertain a man that ain't about nothing just because I need to entertain a man. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be patient. So the feminine, the feminine tenet of patience, this is where that comes in. Be patient, be patient and make a commitment to yourself that you will only engage with men who are, who have the ability to be masculine who have the ability to step up and do what men do. Like make that commitment. Once I made that commitment, everything else fell away. It was easy. Like I thought it was hilarious when there was a guy who might be interested in me. And, and let me tell you what those guys look like. So the, the, the men who are not fully in their masculine energy, they see me on social media, they're interested in me. And so what they do is they take a day, they go through all my pictures, like, 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 or I should say, love, 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 right? And they just love all my pictures, love everything I'm posting. And they may throw a comment under one or two of them. No, dude, no, that doesn't mean anything to me. That means absolutely nothing. If you don't have the balls to reach out and say, hey, I saw you on Facebook and, you know, you seem very attractive or I loved what you posted about X, Y, and Z. And, you know, I'd love to get to know you better. If you don't have the balls to do that, you get Nathan. Okay, you get, you get none of my time or attention. So, but you have to be committed to that. I see so many women, they refuse to commit to that. They refuse to have that standard. And so they're entertaining all these guys that are wishy-washy and inconsistent and in their feminine. And I want you to chase me and I want you to call me and I want you. I actually had every time I have a man who says, yeah, you know, oh, I'd love to take you out. Um, and he gives me his number. I give him my number in return. I let him know I, 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 I'm awaiting your call. I'm awaiting your call. Right. If he don't call, that's called so what? And I had a dude recently have the audacity to wait three weeks, right? Just knowing Anita was going to call. I'm not. And then going to reach out. Hey, I was waiting for your call. And guess what I said? What gave you the impression that I was going to call you? Well, I said we should go out. I said we should have dinner and I gave you my number. And I gave you my number and told you I was awaiting your call. At no point ever did I say I would call you because I'm not. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I guess you've been busy. No, I haven't been that busy. I just don't call men because I'm the girl. And guess what? If I don't hear from them for another two or three weeks, that's called so what? Like last I checked, my life is great. I'm out here, you know, living and working and doing what I do. Like, come on. We got to get stronger. We got to get better about this. But it's the women, to be honest, it's the women who are putting up with this foolishness that are frustrated. Those are the women that are DMing me. Those are the women that are emailing me. Well, how can I get him to call? How can I get? You don't. You don't. You go on. You move on. You move on with your life. You move on to other men. You, you live your fabulous life. That's what you do. <laughs> there is no making him do anything. He either is or he isn't. And we have to get to a place of accepting what is. 
You think because he looks good and he smells good and he drives a nice car and he has a nice job and, oh, he has so much potential to be a great boyfriend. Not if he's not calling, he don't. Not if he's not asking me out on dates. Not if he's not texting. No, he doesn't. <laughs> but that has to be your standard. That has to be your standard. So mm -mm, there is no making a man be more masculine. There is no making a man call or text or step up or pay for dates or do any of that. Either he is, is brave enough to, to step out there and do it or he's not. And again, see, and this is the, the, this is my um, this is definitely my rule in the beginning. Right. I'm, I, now, if you're already in a relationship, if you're already dating a man and he's kind of fallen by the wayside, you have your way of inspiring him. You have your way of inspiring him to be more in his masculine, but you're not going to do it. You're not going to make him do it and you're not going to do it. Just nothing is going to happen. And then you're going to assess, do I want to maintain this? You know, do I want to carry this relationship on my back? But a new man, a new man, like your women DMing me about men that they just met. How can I get him to be what? No, that's called. Mm -mm. That's called. No, no. If, if that's not what it is, that's not what it is. Why are you trying to engage with him? Why are you trying to date him? No, not no new man. Like, do this do this work on the front end, right? Stop engaging with men who are not masculine on the front end. So you're not getting in a relationship with them and then you're DMing me then. Well, he doesn't plan any dates. He doesn't call me. He doesn't text me. We don't do anything. And he doesn't make anything happen. I know because that's what you accepted from day one. You put this relationship on your back from day one. And that's what you accepted. <laughs> so that's what you got. <laughs> so no, don't do that. Mm -mm. Know your worth. Know your worth. Love yourself. Respect yourself. And just you have to do that inner work. And then you'll believe that, you know what? I am attracting all kinds of men, but I am only engaging with men who truly are interested in me, who are truly you know, curious about me, want to get to know me, want to impress me. That's one of my standards. A man wants to impress me, okay? And most of the men, 99% of the men that are interested in me, that's kind of how it is. They're doing things and saying things to impress me. They're like, yeah, how can I, you know, really get Anita's attention? But this whole rolling through all my pictures, rolling through all my posts, love, 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 love. No, that's not impressing me. That's the, that's the most lowest effort thing you could ever do. <laughs> like, so a monkey could do that. A monkey can scroll and go, do, 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 uh-uh, no. <laughs> so mm -mm, don't fall for it, but it, it starts and ends with you. It starts and ends with you, ladies. You have to do that work, and you have to be in a better place. You have to be in a place where you love yourself. I love myself. Lord knows I do. And the man that wins my heart forever, oh, God, he loves me as much as I do. He's it's a run for our money. Like who loves me more? You know, that's 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 my guy. Right. And I and in turn, you know, love him and reciprocate toward him. It's not just one sided, but that's where the work has to be. And I don't know why people they want a shortcut to that. They don't want to do that work. They want me to give them a tip or a trick or a tool. Well, you told me and if I do this and I do that. No, but it all begins with you. It all starts and ends with you. But when you do that work, you just are like, nope. You know, men who are low effort, men who are not planning, doing, calling, you just, you have nothing for them. And you're not bitter about it. You're not angry about it. You're not upset about it. You're just like, mm, no, I just don't even find that attractive. So a lot of men that pull that whole, you didn't call me, you didn't text me. My, this is the standard text back that they get. So you're low effort. Your lack of consistency, your lack of initiative is a turnoff. <laughs> that's, that's my response. And then I never hear from them again. And then we're done. Like, I just tell a man. I tell a man, like, that is such a turnoff. That, that has completely turned me off. And trust, they never text back again. It is the nicest way to put them in their place. Is the nicest and most feminine way to say, ew. You know, <laughs> like, that's okay. You know, right? That's it. Okay, so ladies, it's all about the work. Okay, get started. Get on this feminine journey. You're going to be glad you did. And 
man, you're going to feel so much better. You're going to look better, feel better. You're going to, oh man, it's, it's a beautiful world. I've been trying to invite women into my world. I've been trying to invite you all into my world for a long time because it's an amazing place here. It's a wonderful place here. Thank you for listening. I'm jumping into another session. As always, stay open to love. Have a beautiful Saturday.